This 12-year-old Clovis Hung just made history by being a 12-year-old with five college degrees. Does that make him the greatest Asian kid ever? Or are Asians just too overly focused on school? Gan here at Fullerton College five years ago at just seven years old and has had straight A's ever since. Uh, my GPA is 3.9. 3.92. Well, there was that one B. That was history 171. The professor was a little bit, I would say, uncooperated. Clovis is the greatest Asian child ever. Yeah, Clovis knows it. Yeah, long story short, this kid is going viral right now. Andrew Clovis Hung, I believe his parents are from Hong Kong. He showed incredible aptitude in his brain when he was young. His mom homeschooled him. And Andrew, he went to college at nine years old. And by 12 years old, he has five associates from Fullerton College. However, Andrew, his success actually sparked a rift and a bunch of internet comments within the Asian community. Should he be heralded as the greatest child ever? Do Asians focus overly on academic achievements and not enough on IRL things? And a host of other comments. Yeah, so please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys as we get into it. Uh, David, uh, pretty much the debate is, well, one, we shouldn't, Clovis is cool, but like we shouldn't focus too much on him. And it's like, oh, is he like going to be a weird kid? I mean, I think we should talk about how his name is Clovis. That's unique already. Where is Clovis the name from? Because usually when I hear HK people and they name their kids something, I'm thinking it comes from the British yeah. Isles due to colonization. I Googled it and I guess it's a French in German origin, but I don't really know. Do you think I named my son Clovis for him to be a regular person? No, I raised a Clovis to be global. Clovis to glow it. <laughs> um, let's get into the comment section, Andrew. Of course, you've got your classic subtle Asian traits. You know, some people would say buying into the model minority myth comments, but I think some of them are funny too. Like, hey, Clovis, how come you don't have a 4.0? You only got a 3.92 through all of your associate's degrees? Or please don't ever show this to my mom. I'll just yell at myself at this point. Um, literally, I can pop up like an endless amounts of these comments. And are they corny? Are they campy? Or are they just real to a I, group of people I, who, I, who want to put them on a pedestal? I'll just flat out and say, it. I think Clovis is a Chinese academic meme. Okay, like he, I'm not saying, I think all Asians kind of generally care about academics, but Chinese in particular, man, they really care. And th this is like, these are mostly Chinese people leaving this country. Right, right, right. Like I would say of the Asians, Andrew, if you have a limited amount of care point distribution, Chinese pretty much stack it 12 out of 10 in the academic bucket. Maybe oh, Filipinos shit. are caring about, you know, the, the have fun, smile and dance bucket. Maybe Viet's are in the hustle, IRL, adventurous, life experiences bucket. Uh, just every Asian got a different distribution. Right. Somebody tried to undermine it and say, well, you know, two year degrees from a crappy college doesn't mean that much and it's not that hard it seems like him and his family are just accomplishment chasing yeah i mean let's be honest did that play a pie slice in the overall reason pizza it might have been a slice right but we don't know how much or how little accomplishment chasing or not it is impressive that he's going to school going to college with that focus and curiosity and that brain power to consume that level of material so it is impressive no doubt and and he can kind of play ball or at least he likes to play ball so you know i support that but no you're right that maybe the two-year degrees from fullerton which is not maybe a crappy college but maybe not the most competitive obviously i it's like it, it's not like maybe groundbreaking i guess well, somebody said by the way, he will just fit the Asian guy stereotype that girls will not want to date, sadly. Oh, man, I think that, uh, you know, he seems socially adapted. Like, I saw an interview, he can talk, and he's not, like, a bad-looking kid. So, to be honest, I think he's going to do fine. Yeah, I think that if you're the best-looking kid amongst, like, the genius prodigy tier program, you still get something. Yeah. But it depends on, like how you look within a fishbowl. Somebody said, man, America people are so anti-intellectual. I can't believe there's so many comments in this comment section that are anti-Clovis Hung. I bet you if he played pro basketball at 12, he'd be your hero. It's so popular to be lowbrow in America. <laughs> I mean, is this true? Is it not? Or is there something deeper going on? I mean, I'll be honest. Listen, if he was a 12-year-old kid playing pro basketball and he was Asian, that would by, be by all means more rare. Yes, that's true. That would true. be more rare. This is a big fact. But, but should we compare him to a hypothetical person that doesn't exist? No, I think celebrate Clovis as he's here, but also acknowledge that he hasn't really done anything for the world 
yet. And not only that, by the way, all props to Clovis Hung. There's no way I could have did this when I was 12 years old. I no, wouldn't even no, come no, close. No, no, but no, I'm no. just saying the whole Chinese culture, specifically when you come from a certain type of Chinese family that makes up a pretty decent, sizable portion of Chinese families, they are treating this like it's somebody else's NBA you know, You know what other f- cultures, and I, I'm not going to say exactly which one, but like I think there's different cultures that see getting a college degree as a stepping stone, but what you do after it is really what you did with your life. But a lot of Asians, and I'm not going to just say all Chinese, but a lot of people tend to think- More so Chinese, though. That- Once you get the degrees that you've accomplished something. Right. Versus actually accomplishing something after school. If you went to a Chinese church with like a pretty big distribution of people, everybody knows there was one guy with like three degrees from in difficult degrees from some hard to get into college that nobody liked. And didn't necessarily wasn't necessarily a great person, not a bad person, but like, is that person better than everybody just because of their degrees? And here are the comments saying Hey, I hope he's just happy. Let him enjoy life, man. Or I knew one of these genius Chinese kids at my college, and honestly, he looked awkward and lonely. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. I think the, one of the let him enjoy life comments came from a Via guy who was just like, hey, man, it's not all about that, man. It's not all about school. It's like he got to go live, be socialized, see great things in life, man. Yeah, it's not all about school, but I also would not assume that he's not happy. Like, I think looking at him... He is a very curious kid at heart, and maybe he might burn out. Maybe there comes a time in 10 years or eight years when he's just like, you know what? I just want to live a regular life and, and like not try to have all this pressure on him. But maybe he likes it right now. Yeah, I do think that he's happy. And here's the truth, Andrew. A lot of like life's, like as much as we say it's about safe self-agency, a lot of life is determined by the environment in your home and how the home teaches you to interact with whatever like societies that they place you in. So I think Clovis Hung had fun getting those five associates degrees. Dude, I want to know what it's like for Clovis to be talking to girls his age that he thinks are cute. Like, hi, Michelle, my name is Clovis, and I can already scan and tell that your brain is moving at a third of the speed of mine. Right. I have already read 16 books this entire summer. Do you want me to talk to you about them? <laughs> Somebody said him and Rory Hu would probably give birth to the first cyborg human. Rory oh Hu God. was a, uh, I believe, also a Chinese girl who did, like, some groundbreaking study of, like, honeybees. Yeah. You know what? You'd be surprised, though. A lot of these genius kids, they tend to be a little bit more socially adept. They get put in good systems. They're around a lot of adults who talk to them. And, you know, they are mature. And maybe there is cer- certain things that are socially awkward, but they're not, like, they're not super bad off like you might think. But let's be real, Andrew. It depends on what type of family you come from. And in 2023, I do see the kids be more well-rounded than the past. Well, you know why? Because I think, and I'm just going to uh, stereotype Asian families. If a genius kid comes from an Asian family, he is seen as more normal than if he's a genius kid from another family, oh, maybe. And not only that, Andrew, uh, Clovis Hung's mom might have seen Jeremy Lin and was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the new thing. Push Clovis into basketball, too. Make oh. him more well-rounded. See, the basketball will make him normal, but the books will make him a super genius. Somebody said, I had five girlfriends in elementary, and honestly... That might even be more rare for an Asian guy or at least a Chinese guy. That's is that funny. true? That's funny. No, That's honestly, funny. there might be some truth it's to it. funny comment. Someone said if Clovis was modeling his life after a white American genius, he'd go to law school, then get a fancy job on Wall Street, get rich, and then maybe become a politician and shift things in favor of his industries. But since he's Asian, he'll just be a brilliant researcher making 250 k a year instead of the deserved $20 million a year. There is so much false in this comment, bro. Dude. Geniuses don't become politicians. Are you kidding me? I like, like, I don't do it. Having a high IQ or having a lot of degrees is never, never a prerequisite for being a politician. But yeah, uh, I in other th- countries, maybe more than America. Though. I mean, I, I mean I, America a little bit. Yeah, there's different pathways for child geniuses. Like we knew some smart kids growing up who went to college a little bit early on, and some of them went up to be. Uh, computer programmers some of them went to wall street some of them just became like medical professionals like doctors or whatever like uh or and and there's even stories of people who were child geniuses but then due to their family situation and maybe the pressures that came from it they just end up working the most regular job right that was a a story of a dragon Demello, who was a mathematics genius at the age of 12 i guess what do you think it is man a lot of people were like You know, I see so much variance in these child prodigies. We put them on a pedestal. A lot of them got 
you know, are unbalanced and even becoming powerful and rich and game changing has a lot to do more with like elite circles and gatekeepers and being smart. is just like one of eight factors that you yeah. need. Like, do you think like, you know what I mean? Like these kids, they're like full up on one bucket and maybe it's overflowing, but the other buckets might be neglected. I mean, I just don't think you ever know how a kid's going to turn out. Sometimes you see like these prodigy athletes at a young age and they're breaking school records like nothing. Averaging and, 40 a game in AAU yeah, at 10 then, years old. And then they don't don't always like keep going up like it's not just a complete you know steady uh linear incline you know some of those kids up. don't even make the nba yeah or some, alonzo trees in the yeah, G sometimes right they now. peak uh, uh early uh, there was these comments that were questioning what clovis will do in the future because they were saying like hey you know we heard of these young prodigies but none of them ever grow up to lead our country and honestly a true man does not accomplish who he is until he's in his 30s so we have no idea what or who Clovis Hung will actually become and what he will actually accomplish for the world. That is actually completely true. Now, some people might question the intentions of saying that in the article comment section, but that's true. But he's off to a great start. He's off to the great start to be a mind that like, uh, maybe he builds the robot to fight the robots or he builds the robot to, you know, who knows what he's going to do in the future. What Isaac Asimov thing, because I think he's going to autonomous learning. Or maybe he does some great things in the next five years and then peaks early and then has a drop off. I don't know. Dude, you never know, man. Sometimes you just want ABGs when you get to a certain age as an AZN guy. Oh, I don't know, don't, man. It happens. He's from Fullerton? Oh, oh man. man. Keep he goes him away from... The blonde. Roland Heights, at least. Keep him away from Roland. Um, somebody said his mom just gamed the system, made him take adva- essentially what were advanced high school AP courses at a low-ranked college just to win and be famous and hopefully get him into Harvard. I've seen this time and time again. I've seen this time and time again. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I think it's a little bit of that. Trust me, any, any, any family that has this many smart kids in their family clearly does does have some plans and uh, expectations. But, no, again, I don't think he's getting whipped in the back. Like, hey, Clovis, keep studying. Ah! Hey, Clovis, you only have three degrees. Now you need a fourth. Ah! You know, I don't think it's like that. Yeah, I heard his sisters actually were good students as well, but they went through a more traditional high uh, trajectory. Yeah, right? I, I think it's important that he has sisters so he doesn't grow up to be super, super weird. I mean, the truth is... In church, Andrew, we definitely saw a lot of these kids. Like, not to the same extent. I say Clovis is, you know, pushing towards the 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10 example. In China, Andrew, every major university in every province has a young genius program. Uh. But a lot of people in China were like, yeah, we have seen many people come out of this system. And very few become game changers. Even though, of course, they can always get a job. Yeah. Yo, there's this one quote that Clovis Hung had that I saw in an interview. He goes, yeah, hopefully one day I hope to talk to Elon Musk. He's a very smart guy, and smart people talk to smart people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a confident dude. I mean, I don't know. I guess him, I think it's cool that he can look up to people like Elon and uh, all these other smart people in media and kind of have role models on how to be more of a normal person. I mean, arguable if Elon is a normal person himself, but like, I guess he at least has a bunch of people to look up to. I mean, the potential's there. Absolutely. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe he collaborates with Elon on one of the future, like, 100 companies that Elon's gonna start. But, like we said, Andrew, the way life actually works is there's, like, way more about, like, elite circles that are gate-kept and can you fit in with them and the brain power is only one aspect that helps you fit in with them and get these accolades or whatever. I mean, what do you think about the split within the Asian community? I think that that's what the biggest thing was, right? Because not every kid is raised in these hyper-scholastic, like, chinese families, whether you're Chinese or not, right? Some are raised valuing just how much money you can make or how you keep the family together or what type of cool experiences you have. And other people, maybe like my Filipino friends, they more value how much of a, like, a Latin lover boy they kind of come across as. Yeah. Which actually, I value that too. Yeah. Even though I came from a culture that doesn't value that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, I think you guys let me know in the comments down below, everybody watching, what you think, what you guys value as the culture that you come from. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't expect every kid can be like Clovis, or nor would you want to push every kid to be like Clovis. But I do think he himself has that curiosity and that drive for now to do all these things. So, uh, no, I don't think he's being forced to do it. Um, and I do think he'll probably end up living a decent life. But do you think a lot of Asians are trying to rebel against this, like, dynastic narrative? I, I, you know, I the national gao cow. I know, mean, listen, schools. everybody who's uh, giving... Clovis attention and just like us we give attention to a lot of other Asians too uh, athletes 
politicians, hey, sh- street to geek, media people, even our friends. We put on our friends on on camera and feature them. Uh, all the funny Asians that are just normal people. So I think just have an appreciation for all types of Asians and all types of intelligence. And I think Clovis has one type of intelligence and some other kids might have another one. Yeah, so. maybe put him in fresh off the boat 2.0 because he already looked like Evan from the show. So, All right, everybody, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Hit that like button. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.